It's your boy Ryan, man. I'm back with another video. If you're new to the channel, this is Trigger Reactions. And over here, we react to some things that may trigger you. <laughs> but no, the video today is from my guy, By the Book Ministries. Love his channel. Been following him for about a year now. Really, really good content. And today we're going to be reacting to CNN tried the wrong person on LGBTQ rights. This could get interesting, or it could trigger someone. Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? Grace and peace. As many of you know, the media has one common goal, and that's to push their narratives. And I'm all for free press, but one of the things that bothers me the most about these reporters are when they have guests on their show who have opposing or competing thoughts, they do not allow for that person to really express their thought. The whole goal is to force them to agree with their side. They never speak to the arguments. Instead, they reiterate their own bias. And most of the times, it works. Salvation for this sin is the gospel. The only way to really cure that was on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And so, the, to me, on a micro level, it's understanding. It. Yep, and just like Now, we all are hip to the fact that Certain news medias are basically all on one side, right? They have one agenda, one side, one view, and they're going to push that on you and basically silence whatever you, if you oppose or challenge them. That's clear. And you just saw that there, but this NFL player was speaking about Jesus and he just glitched and went away and they say they lost him. Hmm. Pay attention. <laughs> Let's get back into it. We lost him just like that. We lost him. But thankfully, there are still people who will not bend the knee to the woke culture. I think, you know, human rights situation in parts of Africa and including in your own country. You yourself gained worldwide attention a few years ago when you said there was, quote, no room for homosexuality in Kenyan society. I want to know whether you still stand by that. We have um, Kenyan law. We have Kenyan constitution. We have our tradition. We have our customs. We will continue to respect other people's customs as they respect our customs and our tradition. I am very clear, I am very clear that we respect everybody and what they believe in, but we also have what we believe in and we expect to be respected for what we believe in. One of the major issues, and it's a holdover from sort of colonial Victorian, is the issue of sexual preference in many African countries. In Kenya, to be gay, the LGBT community is, is illegal. They just want to have equal rights, the same privacy and equality as all other Kenyans do. Is that something that you aspire to for your country? I want to be very clear, uh, Miss Yara. Uh, there is, I will not engage in a subject that is of no, it, uh, it, it is not of any major importance to the people and the Republic of Kenya. This is not an issue, as you would want to put it, of um, human rights. Or this. this is an issue of society, of our own base as a culture, as a people, regardless of which community you come from, this is not acceptable. This is not agreeable. So he's basically saying homosexuality is not agreeable. You've just said uh, that you're kind of trying to thread the needle, that the law says one thing, but you respect everybody's rights. Will a Ruto administration crack down, like many other leaders in Africa, on the homosexual LGBTQ community, or will you allow them their human rights and their civil rights? And this is what the media does so well. It tries to pit people against each other. Here she is trying to get... Yeah, she definitely was trying to pit him against the president uh, of Kenya. And they're basically saying they have their beliefs, others can have theirs. But if you are in Kenya... And you want to be same-sex. If you get caught, you will go to jail. That's their law. That's their rule. 
If you're gay, just don't go to Kenya. If you're some uh, someone in, you know, uh, Kenya that is, move out. Move elsewhere. That's their law. That's their rule. That's their tradition. That's their culture. What's wrong with them upholding their culture? They're not telling you you can't be. You just can't be that there. That's their law. That's their rules. That's their culture. You can't come into someone's house and tell them to change their drapes. <laughs> just saying. This new Kenyan president to disagree with the former leadership. You know, the Bible says that a nation divided or a house divided cannot stand. If you divide, you can conquer. If you can get some inconsistency within the leadership, then these new policies and these agendas can sneak into the government, into society, and of course it will implode the society inside out. This is very, very manipulative. But notice his response. I think on that subject, President Kenyatta was spot on. <clears throat> We do not want to create a mountain out of a molehill. This is not a, a big issue for the people of Kenya. When the people of, when it becomes a big issue for the people of Kenya, the people of Kenya will make a choice. As it is now, we are grappling with five million young people who do not have jobs, four million people who are hungry, and that is my concern. That is the focus of the people of Kenya at the moment. When the issue you have discussed about homosexuality and the rights of LGBT will come, the people of Kenya will make a choice and we will respect the choice of the people of Kenya. For now, Christian Amanpour. You see, this is the misconception. We think that because something is an issue in our country, that it's an issue worldwide. And it's not an issue in every single solitary country. These countries in Africa have bigger fish to fry. They have bigger issues like poverty, like poor education, like needing fresh water. And some of the and and to back what the brother is saying, uh, that that's not an issue in their country. They have real issues like you know poverty, jobs clean whatever their issues are it has like that and we have issues like that here in america too that aren't being resolved or pushed to the back to focus on this so i feel like you know kenyan the the president and the the rulers there who are in power they are looking after the people and making sure that they help the people the people don't really have an issue with or care to change laws when it comes to the homosexuality and, and, and things of that nature. They're, 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 that's not their concern. They want food and jobs. That's it. That's it. So we can't assume that in America, you know, gay rights is leading the forefront and they get their rights, you know, while infringing on ours and others. <laughs> nah, but they, you know, it's not the same there. And we should let people govern their country how they want. Let's focus on our house. Let's clean up our backyard. Let's let's fix and help what we need to help here. Instead of worrying about what Kenya is doing. You know? But that's just my opinion. Countries, they don't have any food to eat. Those are bigger issues that necessitate immediate attention. These other things that we hold so dearly in America are not issues for other nations. Because what you've categorically just stated is that this is not an issue for us, for the Kenyan people, yes. and you don't think that the idea of their privacy, their equality, their rights Christian, is important. This is, uh, but it's a global issue it's, right now. It's, it's important to them where they are. Why is it I am saying to you that it as is president not of the country? important to me as the leader of 49 million Kenyans. And after, if you want to ask me my personal opinion, what is your personal after opinion? After I finish my process, I can talk about my personal opinion. But as the leader of the people of the Republic of Kenya, I, I represent that 
in which our people are desirous to be. And isn't that the mm-hmm. foundation of every democracy? The person who is put in that position. And and yeah, um, he said that perfectly. He said, my personal opinion isn't before the people. The 49 million Kenyans aren't bringing them and talking to them to their government about gay rights. Most Kenyans don't aren't they don't support that gay the gay lifestyle anyway. So why would that even be something he puts to the forefront? They're not bringing it to them. They actually want to provide what their people is is voting for or want their problems, not not the leader's personal opinion. He represents 49 million Kenyans. And he's saying that the gay rights isn't on their list of importance. That's it. But the, I'll leave the link down for the full video. It's basically going to keep going on about uh, her going back and forth. Uh, but how do you guys feel about that? Do you guys think the Kenyan president is wrong? I don't know. Leave it down in the comments down below. If you like this video, you already know what to do. It's your boy Ron. This is Trigger Reactions. See you guys in the next video. Peace.